Day 26, day 26, 30 days of ham radio. We are raising awareness and raising money for the ARRL Teachers Institute. Go to ARRL.org forward slash 30 days to support this project and the Teachers Institute. Today we are talking about WinLink Wednesday. Guess what day of the week it is. <laughs> so we've done some WinLink already. I did some WinLink uh, la a week or so ago. It was a really popular video. Got a lot of really good comments on it. I checked my WinLink email yesterday. It's not the first time I've checked it since that video, but I checked it yesterday, and I had 43 WinLink emails that you guys sent me. So thank you. KC5HWB at WinLink.org. Send me a WinLink email. But WinLink Wednesday happens every week on Wednesdays, and it is something that is just a way to, you know, and if you're if you're tired of sending emails to people that don't check it very regularly, I've tried to, I, like I said, I've been trying to check mine more regularly, two, three times a week, something like that. I know that Jason came for ACK. I know he checks his just about every day. But if you don't have, if you want to try something else and try another group and get more WinLink activity, WinLink Wednesday is a perfect opportunity for it. It's basically for lack of a better description, it is a net on WinLink. And you just send an email. This is all the winlinkwednesday.net is the website. That's what we're looking at right here. Different links to different things, weather, radio aids like grid square locator, RF line of sight map, this kind of thing. Win, WinLink Wednesday's current week's net report and roster. This is from last week. Okay, and up here at the top, kind of at the top here, net reminder. If you click on here, it'll have today's date right there. So it'll show the date at the top right there, and it says, standard check-ins this week, no weather snapshots or attachments of any type, please. Who, it's open to all amateur radio operators, what, WinLink Wednesday, when, and it gives the date, uh, it's, 12 UTC, it's midnight UTC today to midnight UTC. Yeah, this actually says noon on Tuesday to noon on Thursday. So it actually goes a little bit longer than that. I didn't know that. I thought it was just midnight to midnight. Okay, there we go. How? This net will accept check-ins via WinLink e email only. Send a check-in via any RMS during the time frame above or participate in one or both of the P2P sessions. I don't know what that is. May have to look that up later. I think I, I think I actually do know what that is, so maybe we'll talk about that in a second. Please do not use Telnet WinLink connection, which defeats the purpose of WinLink. In other words, don't use WinLink over the internet. Connect to an actual RF. The goal is to have a message leave your station via RF. Please remember to use the correct format. 2KN4LQN, subject is WinLink Wednesday check-in, and the message is your call sign, first name, city or town, county, state, HF or VHF, etc., and then they give an example below. Here's the P2P. So morning session is an RDOP P2P. And I don't know if, I don't know how this, I've never done a P2P, a peer-to-peer. -peer. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure how this works. I'm not versed enough in WinLink to, to know how this works, okay? But I have done WinLink Wednesday in the past. And they, basically I just sent an email to the above and a short time later, it might be even on autoresponder, you, you get a, an acknowledgement back, and then at the end of the day, they send like a list of all the check-ins, and you're included on that list. So, again, not a huge, I mean, it's great for testing your WinLink connection. You want to test your local packet repeater, um, your local packet gateway, or your local RMS gateway, or your local um, pack tour gateway, something like that. Like I said in my packet WinLink video that I did last week, we used Wode WinLink over Android, and it only works on packet. So it doesn't work on Vara, Vara, H, uh, Vara FM, or RDOP, or Pactor, or any of the other modes that you can connect to WinLink. So if you're doing WinLink over HF, this is a good opportunity to try that. Try your local 20 meters or 40 meters wind link gateway see how well your station is working and this is a good way to test your wind link so that you know how to work it in the field should you ever need it so let's go out here and check out we're gonna we're gonna get in the car today i'm gonna drive back up to the area i did find out something else i'll, I'll say this after i made that last video about the ke5 net south lake wind link gateway that i was unable to connect to I got an email from my friend Roger, KD5UJL, and he's like, hey, it's back up. They, I think they had to, to move something or reconnect something or something. I don't remember. He, he told me. He actually sent me a WinLink email and says, hey, this should be working again. So we're going to check that one again. I'm going to go back up to my mailbox today and check that 
gateway again, see if we can get into it. And if not, I'll go connect to the other one that I did the other day. So let's go and do a WinLink Wednesday check-in. All right, so I'm back in the north end of Great, well, not the north end of Great, but the, the, like the south end of South Lake. We're going to try this uh, KE5NET Winlink gateway that I wasn't able to get into the other day. I've turned APRS Droid off on my phone. There we go. Change the frequency there. Okay. And I pulled up the winlinkwednesday.net website, looking again at the standard template which is displayed right here. KN4LNQ. The first thing I'm going to do, okay, so you can see right here, this is my, this is my inbox. Everything highlighted in like purple or whatever color you want to call that is stuff that I haven't replied to yet. And I've been waiting to reply to it for this video. So, nope, go back. Uh, so I'm going to go to a new message at the top. I'm not, not looking. Okay, KN4LNQ, I think is what it is. KN4LQN, LQN, and the subject is WinLink, what is it, WinLink Wednesday check-in, and the message is, message body, call sign, first name, city or town, county, state, HF, VHF, okay, check-in, enter message, okay, KC5HWB, Jason, Grapevine, Texas, Tarrant County, and I'm going to click on Post to Outbox. Now I'm going to go ahead and send and receive because I might have gotten a few more emails since the last time I, ch I checked the I checked these WinLink emails yesterday, and I may have received a few more. And I want to see if this KE5NET WinLink gateway is on or not. So we're going to go to Sessions, and I'm going to choose KE5NET Southlake right there, and I'm going to click on Start. Not good so far. Okay, let me try to... I've got the VTEC UV Pro here and the signal stick antenna on top of it. And I have checked these packet... Yeah, I'm on high power. Just check to see if I'm on high power. I have checked WinLink from sitting at this location several times. That's my mailbox store right behind me. And for whatever reason, this usually gets into that node pretty well, but it is not is not liking that right now. So Roger, KD5UJL, you're the one who emailed me and said this was back online. And like I said, I've checked this several times from this location. Not sure if something's changed on the node itself, on the gateway itself, or, or what. All right, let's stop that. Let's try the other one. I may have to drive across town to get into the other one. Uh-oh. Okay, I just heard it. And WinLink, when you try to connect to a node, if it in use, it will wait. The software will wait for you. Or it'll wait until the node is clear, and then it'll try it. Now, WinLink Express will tell you that. It'll say, in use. Woad doesn't seem to do that. Ah, there it goes, right there. Okay. It was probably being used. So as soon as I clicked on Start... It said connected, and now it says initial exchange. Sending messages. There we go. You hear that? I wonder if you guys can hear that or not. Receiving messages. Okay, so my message sent. There we go. <laughs> Inbox. Looks like I received three new messages. Three new messages. Whoa. Actually, no. Ten new messages. Okay, so I sent the WinLink... Wednesday WinLink check-in just now, and I'm going to wait. I don't know. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to reply to some of these messages. I should get an acknowledgement. I, I will get an acknowledgement from the Wednesday WinLink email check-in that I just sent. I will get that, but I don't, I'm not sure how quickly it'll come. It might, there, there might be an autoresponder, or I may have to wait until KQ4L, LQN, whatever his call is, LQN, yeah. KN4LQN, he may have to respond. He may respond to those in bulk at the end of the day. So we'll see. So let's just uh, check some emails here. Uh, this is from the other day. N9BAV, using iOS with radio mail through the W, 
zero UG Gateway near Alito. Oh, that's that's not too far from me. Okay, enjoying the thirty days of ham radio. Okay, thanks for watching. Post to Outbox. Okay, back. K five N W Z. Really enjoyed your most recent video on WinLink. Thanks for putting that together. You mentioned that you'd like folks to send you a message through WinLink, so here's one from me. I'm also connected to your all-star note. Good. Appreciate the content you're creating. Your videos are not only informative, but also motivating for those of us in the hobby. Please keep them coming. If you're ever up this way in North, northern Colorado, I was up there in July, feel free to reach out. Okay. Thanks for watching the videos and for the WinLink email post to Outbox. Okay. I've got the screen. Sometimes I'll, I'll use speech to text to write a message in an email, and I tried that, and my screen recorder was going to turn off, so not going to do that this time. Into QGV. Hello from Florida. Thanks for watching. All right, so I'm going to go through, and I'm not going to reply to all of these on video, but I'm going to reply to all of these WinLink emails, the ones left over from the other day, and the 10 new ones I got today. And then we're going to check the Wednesday WinLink email acknowledge. We'll, we'll just run another connection to the I, to the gateway, to the WinLink gateway, and see what comes down from the WinLink Wednesday folks. While I'm sitting here waiting for these messages to send, I thought I would send a CQ message that says WinLink Wednesday on APRS. There we go. To CQ. I'm actually replying to a couple messages right now, so I'm over loading the radio. <laughs> I replied just now to W5GJT and KI5GSR. It looks like the GSR one went through. It's got the star next to it. It's got a 2 next to W5GJT, so it's got two more tries, and then it'll stop, and it's trying the uh, CQ message. It's going to try the CQ message five times, four or five times, and that's standard. So... Still monitoring APRS. In fact, I just heard someone on 652. He was too far out there. I threw my call sign out. He didn't come back to me, but it sounded like he was talking to somebody else. So that was fun as well. I have replied to about half of my emails so far. I want to go ahead and do... I want to go ahead and send them now instead of waiting to send them all at once because there's so many of them. So I want to send... So I started the camera again. I want to send those now and see if they... See if I get an acknowledgement from the WinLink uh, Wednesday people so let's go to sessions yep south lake start okay connected initial exchange yeah this is working working well now one of the emails i got said that i should try this windlink gateway from my backyard with an ht with a rubber duck antenna on the uv pro but i have connected my uv pro to my outside antenna the one that i don't have deployed right now at home and it works great from home with an external antenna. I'll try it. I might try it this evening from the rubber duck antenna, or from the signal stick antenna, rather, and see how it works. It'd be cool if it did work. And, of course, if I set up a, um, if I set up the N7500, the N7600, the 50-watt version of this radio, that'll surely work. Sending messages. <laughs> Sending quite a few. Okay. Hopefully that means it's done. Okay. All right, so let's go to Inbox and see if we've received anything new. Okay, I have not received an acknowledgement yet from WinLink Wednesday, from the check-in I did on WinLink Wednesday. It's been like 10 minutes since I sent that email. So I will get an acknowledgement. I just, like I said, I didn't know if it would be an immediate autoresponder or if they do it at the end of the day. There we go. All right, I'm going to reply to the rest of these emails. So once again, send me a WinLink email. I would love to see more of those. There's quite a few of them today. I didn't, I didn't get a chance this afternoon to try the HT in the backyard, so I'm gonna, I may try that tomorrow. We'll see. Donations for today. We uh, we had a good day yesterday, guys. Uh, $5,923 is what we're up to. Just yesterday alone, we had a total of $725 raised from eight different donors. The first uh, comment was in memory of Mike McCraw, W5MR, so thank you for that. The second comment was in honor of uh, KC5HWB, myself, for creating amateur ra radio-related content. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching. It's good to hear that uh, lots of you are enjoying this series. 
Uh, lots of you have commented on the video saying that. And the last one is in honor of science teacher Max B making a difference in the lives of students at Hayes ISD. So thank you for those donations. Keep them coming. Let's try to get a few more. We've only got a few more days left in this, but um, we're not close to reaching our goal of $30,000 yet. But uh, but we're going to keep going as for the next few days and to close out this 30 days and then do a live stream after that. So 73 guys, we will see you tomorrow.